I should have been able to spot it. He'd had, you know, from kindergarten through to year four, no, but none of those teachers spotted it either. These kids do struggle and they need that support. But there is this, this way we know to teach these kids. They don't have to suffer like they do. Just understanding. Calling it by its correct name, disability, um, will not only be more accurate, but will also arguably, if you meet a number of other conditions, bring you within the legislation. When they find a teacher that is willing to present that work in a different manner, they are very appreciative. I need to be explained easier. I need to be given more examples. I just need to be given more time. So the use of assistive technology, the way in which we deliver instructions, the amount of repetition that takes place in a classroom. You've got to start from where kids are. You've got to um, build on what they already know and take them then to the next step of where they need to go, what they don't know. Finding ways of empowering them to capture their ideas and be able to go back and get those ideas. Multisensory is all about incorporating as many senses as possible to come in and support the content of what we're teaching them. This child has some characteristics that make us feel that there might be a risk and that's early identification and it allows early intervention. There's something like a one in nine chance that they'll close the gap um, as they progress through school. So that's why early, no longer can we wait for kids to fail. We've got screening to pick up any students who are at educational risk or risk of literacy or numeracy failure so that we are putting in place some additional support mechanisms for those students. I think you actually have to withdraw them and start at the level that they're at and then work them up. Otherwise it's always band-aiding. It's so critical that these children experience a success because they've had lots and lots of you know, less than successful experiences at school and that, that, that erodes your sense of self-esteem. Well, the knowledge that the emotional impact uh, is, uh, is more, it's actually more important than the extent of the dyslexia. They're also more persistent in getting it right now. Instead of just giving up, it's too hard, I can't do it, they're more persistent in having a go. It'd be great if teachers could accept that's how I learn and they could go towards the strategies of helping me.